All right, so I just want to give some quick data logging tips. It seems like a lot of people are not saving their logs, probably because it's, it's kind of a clunky design to save it within the ESC and difficult to take multiple screenshots. So I'm offering you the scrolling screenshot, which is pretty nifty. So this is a Samsung S20, but I'm pretty sure there are apps you can download to do this. So a scrolling screenshot is just what it sounds like. It's a screenshot that continues to capture. It's kind of like a panorama. So on my phone anyway, it's gonna be just like a regular screenshot. So volume down, power button. And we'll see the Chevron on the left. And as you can see, it's scrolling down and adding to the screenshot. So we've got that screenshot now. And if we go look at it, it's obviously more than one screen. It's a it's the complete log or as far as we wanted to take it. Uh, and that, that's it, that's the scrolling screenshot. So typically if I'm tuning, I guess, let's run down the whole thing. Like let's say if I change the tune or something, ignore this tune, this is probably me going down the hallway. But I'll usually take a scrolling screenshot of the tune. Like that. And then, of course, we'll, t we'll make the pass, and we'll get the data. Or, uh, take another one. There's that, and then we'll just snap the, the GNS there. So then when we go back to, to review, you know, we've got our tune, so we know what we were running. We've got our complete log, and we've got our GNS all back to back. So when you've got it like that, you know, if I make another pass, I'm just going to, if I don't change the tune, I'll just, of course, take the ESC log and the GNS to compare to it. But just a couple tips. I think the scrolling screenshot's the big thing, obviously. Uh, if people want to review their data. That's the quickest and efficient way I've found to do it so far. Anyway, thanks for watching.